Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Trevino, and today we will be covering the college entrance exams. First, we have the ACT, followed by the SAT. Before I begin the presentation, there are a few guidelines we'd like you to follow. First and foremost, no profanity, spoken or in the chat. Professional setting when cameras are on. Muted during presentation unless otherwise specified. Utilize chat box during presentation. There will be time for a Q&A at the end of the presentation. Let's begin. To register an ACT account, you'll first go to act.org and click on register, sign in, as noted by the red arrow. Then you will select the far right box stating, I have not taken the, AC the ACT before and I'm creating an account for the first time, noted by the second red arrow. Then you will enter your date of birth and legal government name as it would appear on official documents, such as your driver's license, birth certificate, etc. This is noted by the following red arrows, name, date of birth, email, and home address. Note that the email should be a personal email that you have access to, uh, secure access, I should note. You should not use a school email as once you graduate, you will lose access to this email. You will then enter the address where you currently reside state, city, and note that the phone is optional, though we do recommend it. Thereafter, you will create a password, and in creating this password, make sure that you keep it in a safe, secure place where you will have access to it. Thereafter, select the I understand box to proceed. You will then receive an email at the email provided in the previous page. This email will contain your verification code, which you will need to activate your account. After you have inputted that verification code, your account will have been created. Now these are the ACT registration dates and deadlines for the fall 2020 semester. Note that the test dates in September, the first three rows are crossed out for those dates have already passed. All the September test dates are yet to come as of the recording of this presentation. However, the registration deadlines for those tests have since passed, both the regular registration deadlines and the late registration deadlines. Therefore, only the December test date and February test date are available within the coming months. You have April following the, Feb the February test date and the registration deadlines are noted on the screen. Note that these are the regular registration deadlines. Moving on to the SAT, to create an account, you'd go to collegeboard.org and click on the sign up link under the username box to create an account, noted by the red arrow. You will then select the I'm a student box, noted by the second red arrow. As with the ACT, you will enter your date of birth and legal government name as it would appear on official documents. Again, such as the driver's license, birth certificate, et cetera. And again, middle and initial is optional. However, with the, a, with the SAT, they do require you select your gender. So you would select either female, male, or another, not listed. And those are required sections. Name, gender, date of birth. Thereafter, you will enter, again, a personal email that you have access to. As we noted before, you will not enter a school email, or once you graduate, you will lose access to this email. You will then enter in your high school graduation date, which for most seniors viewing this, it will be June 2021. You will enter in the postal zip code of the school, which is for Duncanville High School, 75116. Where do you go to school? Duncanville High School. You'll begin typing this name in to the box, and an automated entry should pop up. Click it to autofill. Email address, high school graduation. Where do you go to school? Duncanville High School. 
Thereafter, as with the ACT, you will create a username and password. Make sure you keep this username and password in a safe, secure location, as you will need access to it throughout your collegiate career. Username, password. Here, you have the option of choosing your security question. Now, choosing a security question in itself is required. However, you have the option to choose which security question you would like. Thereafter, you will enter in your answer for the security question. Note that it is case sensitive, so that is something to keep in mind. Thereafter, it asks for personal information. As with the ACT, you'll fill in your address where you currently reside. Thereafter, it will then ask you about subscriptions. You have the option to opt in or out. They are not required, though we do recommend them so that you may stay up to date with the current proceedings of College Board. This is even more salient given the current state of society. Thereafter, you have the option of entering in your parents' first name, last name, and email address so that they may be kept in the loop with the same information regarding College Board, College Board scholarships, and the SAT. This is not required, it is optional, and if you choose not to input that information, that is okay. Once you have made your decisions regarding the previous information, you will select I agree with the terms and conditions to proceed. You will then enter the page on the right where, where College Board will have you confirm the information provided. If everything is to your liking and if it is correct, click confirm to continue. You have successfully created your College Board account. You are now ready to register for the SAT. Provided before you are the SAT registration dates and deadlines. Note that the first two rows, those test dates have already come and passed. Now, not listed are two SAT testing dates that will be happening on school property on October 14th and October 27th. These test dates are for, respectively, students who have chosen to go virtual and student, students who have chosen in-person learning. More information will be provided to you throughout the coming days and or weeks. Be sure to check your email regularly to stay in the loop. ACT and SAT fee waiver eligibility. To be eligible, you must meet at least one of the following qualifications below. You're enrolled in or eligible to participate in the Federal National School Lunch Program. Think free or reduced lunch. Your, anim, your annual family income falls within the income eligibility guidelines set by the USDA Food and Nutrition Service. You're enrolled in a federal, state, or local program that aids students from low-income families, such as federal trio programs like Upward Bound. Your family receives public assistance. You live in federally subsidized public housing, are in a foster home, or are homeless. You're a ward of the state or an orphan. If any of these criteria pertain to you, if you fit any of these, any one of these criteria, you are eligible for a fee waiver. To request a fee waiver, you would select this link right here, and it'll take you to a fee waiver request form. You will fill it out, and we'll get back to you with whether or not you are eligible for a fee waiver. And important items to consider. Each student, if eligible, may receive a maximum of two waivers. Now this is for ACT. Each student, if eligible, may receive a maximum of two ACT waivers. The fee waivers cover late fees, but they do not cover anything else. I repeat, the fee waivers cover late fees. 
However, they do not cover anything else. As such, make sure the test date you choose is correct. If you miss it, you exhaust one of your two waivers, and as such, you only have one waiver left. Again, that is for ACT. Here are some practice resources to, to help you better prepare for your college entrance exams. Our contact info is as follows. To join our Mind 101, where we give out our Zoom links and passcodes for all of our events, text DHS G Center to 81010. Our office phone number is 972 708 37. Five zero. Our Go Center email is dhsgocenter at duncanvilleisd.org. You may schedule a virtual appointment at the link provided. Be sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date with our programs and events happening throughout the school year. That will be all. Thank you.